Hey everyone, welcome back to The Dish. Joining me on set is the owner of Bowl Weevil, Mr. William Harrison. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Feeling very thankful because Thanksgiving is right around the corner and you have shared a recipe with us. While I add this heavy whipping cream, why don't you tell us what, we're, what we've made? Uh, it's a tomato apple soup. It's a, a tomato based uh, apple soup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> Super easy. It, it is what it is called. Yes, basically, that, that's right? correct. Not that many. Did I add too much or is no, that good? I think you're good. Okay. Um, good. Very simple and green. This is your, your dad's claim to fame. And my dad's claim to fame, yes. Now, it's so, it smells so yummy. Uh, when we come back to Jackie, the general manager from Belk, is going to be taste testing. But let's move first to what are we making next? Uh, the, what we call the grown up grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. And uh, to start it off, we'll make some uh, pimento cheese, starting with some cheddar. Okay. And now you guys make the pimento cheese in house all the yes, time? Yes, we do. Okay. And we make a lot of it. <laughs> we, I go, bet. We, we sell a lot of grown up grilled cheeses. When you live here, you got to have grilled cheese, And then right? they, uh, to the cheddar cheese, you add some roasted red pepper. Mm -hmm. I love me some red pepper and cheddar. Put that over there. And mayonnaise. Do you have a trick to which mayonnaise? Like, does it have to be a specific one? If I was doing it at home, I would use a, a Duke's mayonnaise. Duke's. Ooh, shout out to Duke's. Right. <laughs> and some sriracha. And sriracha, a little bit of sriracha, not too That's much. That's why it's called a grown-up Grilled cheese? Yes. <laughs> Get a little spice, a little flavor. A little spice to your life. Yeah, so mix that up, and, and then of course, so you put it in some salt and pepper. Yeah. And, of course, the other main ingredient, which is? Bacon. Bacon, because everybody loves bacon. Oh, are you That's bacon? Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Anybody get, catch that? No? Okay, great. So then you take. Lion King lover. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, take, you know, take some a nice hefty cheese. amount. There yep. you go. Put now, do you there. guys usually use like the sourdough or Texas toast, uh, like sourdough. a thicker bread? Okay. Yep. Yeah, we use a sourdough mm -hmm. um, and some bacon. Add some more bacon in there than you normally do, sir. Uh, more I'm more sure than normal. Yeah. Sure. So this is one of your, also put, your staples. You say you sell a lot of this, yep. but there's several other different menu items. Um, Southern Delight, but it is kind of an eclectic menu. You kind of have a little bit of everything. You even said shrimp and grits. Obviously your it's tomato apple soup. Um, putting in some butter there. Just a little butter. Nice and get it nice and toasty. Um, but they also are very known for their cakes that you see over here tempting us. I just want to be like my three-year-old son and stick my finger in it. Can I do that little taste test over here? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> and something that you were telling me is you guys, every month you come up with a new, or you put a new um, cake or cheesecake on the menu. Sure. Yep. And throughout this month was your pumpkin cheesecake. Pumpkin cheesecake, yeah, and it is well, delicious. Why did you bring any? <laughs> <laughs> I should have. It's gone, right? Yeah, yeah. It's probably gone. They, we go through it pretty quick. I bet. And so you don't have anything to do with any of the. I, I don't bake. <laughs> I I uh, I go over there and watch them bake. Yeah. But uh, the, I I have six fully qualified bakers to do that it for do me. That do it all. Yeah. Okay. And so already you have thirty to choose from. But yeah, your portion. You do not believe in portion control, no, which is a good all. thing because then you'll have some to take home with you too. Yes. Yeah. And so what? Who made the decision on the size of the slices? It was actually an accident. Really? Well, the size of the cake was an accident. We had a, a substitute baker come in and wasn't fully uh, aware of how many layers the cakes were supposed to be. <laughs> I love this. So they added an extra layer and it just, just went, went, yeah, went from there. Yeah. So this and it's what you, again, I think one of the staples, what you guys are known for. And so head on over, try some cake, try some of this yummy food right here. But guys, don't go anywhere. When we come back, you're still going to be here. But Jackie, the manager, general manager from Belk, is going to be joining us to do some taste testing. Plus, fill us in on Black Friday. It's coming.